Yes, this is the um, IBF bout that I recently won, and it's my baby. <laughs> um, look, I've given the last maybe four weeks I was away filming a TV show, so I've come back and the last four or five weeks I've been head down just completely focusing on the fight. I can say that it's called the challenge, but that's all I can say for now. Yeah. No, something completely different. Out of my comfort zone, but I'm all about getting out of my comfort zone and doing something different. Yeah, we, um, we actually used to train at the same gym a few years back. Um, we, we did a bit of training together, but that doesn't matter. You know, it's time to fight and we're going to do just that. So you've sparred with each other, I'm guessing? We have, yes, previously in the past. Yeah. Look, when it comes to fighting, you can um, never predict or assume what somebody is going to come out like on fight night. It, it all, it all um, can sort of change on the night. And I know what she fights like. She's a, she's a come forward aggressive fighter and I'll be ready for her. Um, you know, I only really noticed that in the fight, something with her knee. And I used that to my advantage and jumped on her. Uh, from here, we're going to leave it up to the team and see where they, they want me to go, hopefully overseas. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for after this win. Look, that definitely hasn't upset my training. I'm all eyes on the prize. I'm definitely um, focused and I haven't let that distract me from what I've got to do. So yeah, I'm, I'm all about this fight. I'm so excited to be fighting on this card. Like it's going to be a real time to show, showcase my skills and got the whole world watching to be on the undercard of Cambosa's first Haney. It's pretty amazing here in Australia. Look, you know, I feel like credit, sh credit comes when credit is due and, and my journey, my time is coming to, to receive that credit. So, yeah, in all due time. For women's boxing, it's really growing at the moment and I think that um, just this fight against Susie and I, you know, two of the, one of the better fighters here in Australia, but there's lots of up and comers. So it's really exciting for women's boxing at this time. We've got so many um, great talent here in Australia and, and overseas with Sky and Ebony at the moment. So there's some great fights to be had and I'm super excited and grateful to be on this card. Just head down, you know, sparring, running, weight cut down. I'm, I'm all for it, I'm so excited. Fortunately, I'm not working at the moment. Um, so I've got full focus on this fight, you know, you've got to give everything as a fight. It's not always easy as just jumping in the rings. I was working in the past, but to, to give this fight 100%, I'm not working anymore. There's plenty of good um, talent here in Australia, and I think women's boxing really is on the rise. Um, within the just last year, we, we've seen that with the Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor fight. Like, that was massive, and that was just an incredible performance to watch. So um, definitely on the rise, and I'm excited to see it grow. Let's all get around October 16th. Looking forward to seeing you there. Yes, I mean, look, obviously I've won five world titles, um, two of the major ones in, in street and footweight divisions. And, you know, my goal obviously was to win another world title in super flyweight division. Um, and obviously the lockdown and COVID and all that happened, so I was out for two, two and a half years. And um, recently I had, I just got off my last fight to get me back into the super flyweight ratings. ratings. Um, and that was obviously to, you know, fight for a world title in that division. But um, this opportunity came along and, um, you know, I couldn't turn it down. So, um, you know, fighting for a world title in my hometown on a big major platform, it's, um, yeah, you know, it's definitely exciting. Well, yeah, I've got to, <laughs> I've had to eat a lot more in this one, but um, no, look, it's, you know, my body's just, um, you know, it's always the same. It's always, I'm always fit and, you know, I'm not here to, you know, try anything different to try and put on weight or anything or try and have an advantage. Uh, you know, I know where, what, what I'm good at and, you know, where I'm good and, um, yeah, so I'm still doing the same thing I always do and that's training hard and, and that mental um, strength, so. Yeah, look, I mean, I've helped her a lot with sparring, you know, um, because during my whole career, as everyone knows, I've had a gap, you know, like um, there'll be times where I couldn't get a fight for a year or whatever it is. and. Um, yeah, but I'm always training and always helping the girls out. And so, yeah, we spied a fair bit. And, um, you know, unfortunately, she said I didn't do her any favours, but, you know, um, it's all good. We keep moving forward. And, um, yeah, so we sort of know each other a bit. You know, we spied a fair bit. And well, the way I work is I don't really watch um, most of the, uh, my opponents' um, fights. It's, it's up to my coach. That's his job. Um, you know, that's what he's there for, obviously. So, um, yeah, it's up to him. And we just focus on what we need to do, and that's it, yeah. Well, there's no doubt I deserve to be here, you know. Uh, I've done a lot for women's boxing here in Australia and, um, yeah, it's a massive opportunity. I just feel absolutely grateful to have this opportunity, especially, um, you know, thank Cambrosis and, and Haney for bringing these fights here in, in Melbourne, Australia. And obviously the promo is Bella and Top Rank, so 
yeah, it's just, yeah, it's awesome. Um, well, knock on wood, I haven't had any injuries. You know, never been dropped, knocked out or anything like that. Um, no injuries at all. Uh, I think the COVID was sort of, I mean, look, you know, it was tough times for everyone. Um, and, you know, just in general, like everyone has challenges in life. So for me, it's just um, the more challenges and uh, the more I push harder. So uh, that's how I work. And so I come back um, after the COVID and, and um, yeah, fought uh, a former world champion, uh, number five in the world. And, and you know, I focused pretty hard on that and overcame that fight. And now it's um, you know, this one, the next step. Look, I mean, obviously she's got the weight advantage um, and, you know, she, she's been around. So I think she's had a lot of amateur fights, um, you know. So, like I said, we've, we know each other well we, in terms of we sparred before and she's doing really well. And, look, you know, women's boxing is really booming now and there's so many girls out there and it's great to see so many more in Australia as well. So getting into it and, uh, yeah, they're all learning the skills of boxing, which is great to see.